Google Meet is a video conferencing platform that has been expanded starting in the 2020 school year for educators. It is a standalone service in G Suite for education. This enables Google Meet to be a highly secure video conferencing platform in our environment. Students can only log in to Google Meet when they are logged into their WCPS account through Google. They cannot join without that initial login. Most students will be logged into their Google account because they will access Google Meet through Google Classroom. Teachers will first need to enable Google Meet in their Google Classroom. In order to enable Google Meet, you will go into your class. You will go to the settings cog in the top right hand corner. You will then move down until you see Google Meet. It will ask you to generate a Meet link. You'll click that. And it will be toggled on to be visible to students. You will want that to be toggled on. This will allow students to see the camera and click on it. If you make this not visible to students, they will not be able to click on the camera and join your Meet. You may toggle this on and off as you wish, saving each time. If you go back into Google Meet settings, you will be able to see that you are able to either copy or reset the link. Anytime someone asks you for your link, you can go here to copy it, but you may also want to reset it. Sometimes when we use something so much, it can get tied up in the cache on our computers, but we don't want to clear all of our history. This reset button will allow you to reset the link for your Google Meet without disturbing what other students see on their end. If you have any issues with Google Meet acting up, this may be one of the solutions you will use. Students see this on their Chromebooks and iPads. On Chromebooks, it might have the word Meet next to it. For iPads, it may only have the picture of the camera next to it. This is how they join the Google Meet. They will simply click the link and join the meeting at the arranged time. Students cannot join Google Meet early. They will be placed in a waiting room until their teacher joins the Google Meet. Please note if you have a co-teacher in your Google Classroom, that co-teacher may join and start the meeting and let students in. However, the co-teacher may be given host controls because they joined first. Try to set up a way that the teacher who needs to be given host controls joins first.